right, guys. Let me see. Let me zoom out a little bit. All right, it's Missy Beauty. I'm coming to you with a clean face. So this is the Allure Beauty box for October. They didn't do good with um, putting anything in here this time to keep everything from bouncing around. Anyway, October Allure Beauty box. Um, this box is, you can do monthly, a monthly plan that's $23. The quarterly is uh, $60 billed every three months, and the annual is $228 billed annually. Of course, mine is monthly. So let's go ahead and get started on what's in my box. I do have a clean face because there are some skin, a couple of skincare products I kind of want to try in here, uh, and I'm going to try them with you guys. Um, and then I will make up my face as usual and give my thoughts on the box. But I had to look in here so I know, so I kind of see what we've got going on. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this is your Allure a Beauty Box brochure, and it has um, the advertisements for the products that are in your box. It also talks about the products or it tells, gives opinions from folks that wear the products. Of course, they're going to be positive. Um, so they tell you a little bit the, about the product. And if it's not full size, uh, either way it goes, they'll list the full size MSRP of what that costs. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing, we do have cards that come in here, just advertisement cards here. Some of them have coupons and stuff. The first thing I'm gonna pull out, it says Brighten Up Exfoliator. Um, in, enzymatic Face Rejuvenator. So let's see what they're saying about that one. Uh, they are saying better way to brighten smoother skin. Gentle physical and chemical exfoliator in one. Okay, I do not need that. So I'll probably put this in a giveaway. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, yeah, is it, is it saying, oh, here we go. Slip away dullness, grime, and dead skin cells with this a creamy, just a little gritty treatment. Just a little gritty. Um, it The full size is 4.23 ounces. This is 20 grams or 0.71 ounces. And this is $34 for the full size. $34 for the full size. Okay. I'm not going to open it and smell it because I won't be using it. I don't tend to use... Um, I know that Mary Kay, their cleanser is very gentle and you do get, you feel the little cleansing beads or whatever, but it's very gentle. A lot of um, cleansers, even the high-end ones, it's, it's a little bit rough. So yeah, I, I don't need anything else because I use my Mary Kay. Uh, so here's something else, Fleur EB and B. Fleur and B, just do it. Hydrating serum. I'll probably keep that. Hydrating and anti-aging. Hydrating and anti-aging. Let's go ahead and take this out. Now this looks like it might be a full size. This is one fluid ounce. One fluid ounce. And I'll probably put that on my skin right now. And let's find out what they are saying about Fleur and B. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. A serum that single-handedly quenches skin. Fleur and B, just do it, hydrating serum. The name doesn't lie. If dewy skin is your thing, this product will be, will be too, thanks to the impressive glow it imparts. Prickly pear seed oil and sea buckthorn oil instantly hydrate skin, la la la. $34 for one ounce. So this is um, your full size right here. This is your full size. So let's go ahead and open this up. It has a seal on it. 
on the entire top. So that's what I'm trying to get off now. So this is, oh wow, look at this. It's yellow. I don't know if you can see. I'll have to put this down and put my hand up, but it's yellow. So I'm going to rub this in my fingers or through my fingers and go ahead and rub it on. It's, it smells um, clean. It smells like a clean product. Yeah. What I'm going to do, I do not think I'm going to put any uh, primer on my face. I will just probably let this be my primer. Uh, you don't always have to, if you already have skincare that is especially a little tacky like this is, this can act as my primer. And I'm not going to use any skin tint or liquid foundation. I'm going to use powder today. Uh, and it's probably just going to be my translucent powder. Um, that's probably what I'll use. But yeah, this has a very clean smell. And I had some on the sides. I'll just rub that on my hands. And let's go ahead and see, before I do my face, let's see what else I could possibly use in here. Um, did I tell you guys how much that was? Um, did I even do that? So the Fleur and B refers to this. It says, layer it between your new Dong and B Essence and Belief Cream which is something else that's in here, huh? So you can layer this stuff. Um, let's go to the Dongan B Red Ginseng Daily Defense Essence. Okay, so the essence I should have put on first, uh, I'm thinking. So this Dongan B Red Ginseng Daily Defense Essence uh, there's a reason hydrating essences are so popular in Korea. So this is a Korean product. Uh, they make skin brighter, dewier, and they layer seamlessly. Layer. Mm -hmm. Dongan Bees is a light as water and is light as water and firming red ginseng for happy. I am seriously, I need my glasses is as light as water and rich and firming red ginseng for happy, hydrated, bouncy skin. Layer it under your new Fleur and B serum, which I did not do. Um, so Fleur and B, is that also Korean? But Fleur and B is cruelty free, 100% vegan, and 1% goes to charity for Fleur and B. The the um, full size is $66 for 30 ml. That is a lot. So let's see, this is 5 ml. Oh no. I'm trying to get this out of here without tearing anything. Yeah, this isn't uh, very big. This is what it looks like and I'm guessing it's a pump. Yeah. So let's see what the consistency is like here. Oh, here's my cat. Okay, that's what it looks like. 
I don't know if you can see that. Just gonna put it right here. Yeah, it's not watery, but it's a lot thinner. It's a lot thinner than the Dong and Bee that I just put on. And it has a nice smell to it. It's not fragrance though. So yeah. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and put my powder on and I'll be right back because I see at least one beauty product in here. I used my clueless that I just got and used in a, one of the other videos my clueless gloss uh, I'm kind of liking it stuff this stuff but it comes out I mean as soon as you open the top a lot just spills out um, so yeah I put you could see that I put my um, eyebrow uh, I'm I like the eyebrow um, the eyebrow um, what do you call it? Setting stuff. The eyebrow gel from Wander Beauty. Um, I'm liking their gel. Um, and there's a close second uh, that I received in a box that I like. They're running a close second with the brow gel. Um, so yeah, I made up my face a little bit. I uh, put some liner and then the gloss on my lips. I put a little blush um, on and let's go ahead and continue with where we were at. Uh, the Viore Shampoo and Conditioner Bar. Hidden Waterfall Musk Scent. One shampoo and one conditioner bar. That's interesting, right? Okay, I don't know what that would look like and I'm not sure if I wanna open it, but it looks like I can just simply open it and then put it back. So this, okay, so this is what it looks like. And I'll read about it and just a, smells really good in here. So that's what you're getting. There's a bar and there's a bar. One's a shampoo, one's a conditioner. Not quite sure how that would work with hair though. Um, I guess you just rub it on your hair um, like you're rubbing a bar of soap on your hair. I've never seen anything like this. Um, so yeah, how to use soak hair, rub shampoo bar in wet hands massage into hair so you rub it in your hands and then you massage it into your hair rub conditioner bar into wet hair let sit for one to two minutes and rinse out with warm water keep bars dry between usage and i guess you're doing that so the bar doesn't slowly melt away in dampness or water so and you don't get a lot in this little sample thing here all Viore products are 100% vegan, pH balanced, and cruelty free, as well as sustainably and ethically sourced and made with plastic, made, what does it say? And made without plastic sulfates, parabens, or phthalates. All right, let's see. What would a full size of this cost? Um, Viore Hidden Waterfall Shampoo and Conditioner Bar. 
You think bars would have to sacrifice results in the pursuit of being eco-friendly, eco but this duo leaves hair surprisingly clean and conditioned. Okay. Uh, $33 for a bundle. $33 for a bundle. So, of course, this is not full size. This will go on a giveaway. That will go on a giveaway. The next item is a brow pencil. Um, it is a long wear eyebrow pencil. It's in the color brown. So, this is not, unfortunately, it is not my shade. Um, this is by the brand. I just saw it in here. Um, this is by the brand True and Luscious Brow. Def oh no, True and Luscious. They're called True and Luscious. Okay. It says blah 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 blah. We all know what they do, but this is twenty dollars, and this is considered full size. Twenty dollars, and you get your spoolie on one end and of course the actual pigment on the other end the actual liner on the other end and that is a $20 brow pencil I don't need that that will also be going in a giveaway the other thing I see in here is a what is that it says Saturday Skin. I've heard of them before. Saturday Skin. So I I won't be using this right now, but let's see if I want to use this going forward. All right. So what are they saying about this? Seven peptide mix is what it says. It feels like a dream when you applied uh, when applied to tired under eyes and the butterfly buttery and the buttery formula helps concealer or foundation wear smoothly on top okay i should have used this as well uh the antioxidant vitamin c and niacinamide infused formula coddles the delicate eye area and helps brighten it over time how do you use it you tap it uh onto under eyes and over crow's feet with your pinky finger so you don't tug at the area's thin skin this is how many ounces is this this is 0.50 ounces which is in fact full size and this is 32 dollars 32 dollars is what this is sounds like something i'd want to use but i am not sure i've got so many under eye creams that I just haven't used. This isn't only for under eye though. They say also crow's feet. So this is a general eye area type of cream. So let's see if this has um, a safety seal. I wouldn't call it a safety seal, but it does have the cap here. Uh, it doesn't have a big smell to it. It doesn't. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not. I'm going to do a little bit more research. Because I really need to keep things that I'm going to use. Not just keep it for the sake of keeping it. Uh, because lately I haven't been doing giveaways like I said I was going to do. Because I've gotten busy. The next item in here is, and they refer to it in combination, to be used in combination with another product. This is the Belief Beauty, uh, Believe in Truth, Aqua Bomb Brightening Vitamin C Cream. I've gotten this, uh, and I believe it's this exact one several times, and I still have yet to actually use it. So let's see what the full size of this is. If, yeah, if it is, let's see. I don't know if this is a full size because it's not saying it's an eye, just an eye cream. So the full size is 1.69 ounces. That is not this. This is definitely a mini or trial size. Um, 
the formula is thicker than the average gel cream, so it feels decadent and hydrating on, um, on application. Giving dry or tired skin much needed TLC. Okay, $43 for the full size, $43. Um, I don't know how to open this. Is it just me? How do you open these things? I've never really tried. Let's see. Looks like it finally... This has almost a menthol smell. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this. I have quite a few of them. I just don't know where they're at. So $43 for 1.69 ounces. The last thing that I have in here I am going to try on. It is a mascara. It's by Sephora. It's called Big by Definition Mascara. And it says it's uh, $12. And let's see if it's listed in here. Yeah. Everything you want in a volumizing mascara. Tons of oomph, impressive definition comes in this mighty tube. All right, $12. Two, two coats gives you bold, feathery. Okay, let's see what happens. This is the same size as the small, um, the small, I forgot the brand name, the one that I really like. I don't know if this is, this is not full size. Not full size. I don't think it's, mm -mm. no, it's not full size. But we're going to try this little thing on. Hopefully it doesn't clump. Some of these mascaras, you wonder how long they've been sitting out because they go on dry. Like This is looking pretty good. I can tell the difference. Can you guys tell the difference in this eye and this eye? This eye and this eye. Yeah, I think you can tell the difference, right? I'm not going to put two stroke, uh, two coats on because I'm not going anywhere special. And I need to see if I react, how my, my eyes react to this. I'm not going to put, put any on the lower lash line. But yeah, you can definitely tell the difference here. I like the way they look. It gives them a little bit more volume, separation. Yeah. Don't know if it's as good as my other one that I have, but it's good. It's better than some. <laughs> Let me just say that. So yeah, guys, this is the mascara again this one is called big by definition by sephora a sephora brand product and let me show you the applicator again this is not a um it is not a full size so yeah but guys that's my allure beauty box that is my Allure Beauty Box. Let me make sure. Yeah, that's it. Let me know your thoughts, guys. That is the Allure Beauty Box for October. The next thing I'll be doing is BoxyCharm. I believe BoxyCharm, just looking, um, it's supposed to arrive today. So I might be filming later on today for tomorrow. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get that up as well as this one. So I think I'm only going to be doing this one today and putting it up today. And then I'll do BoxyCharm when it comes and put it up tomorrow. But guys, that's it. I will see you in the next one. I'm not sure besides BoxyCharm. I think I've gotten a couple of emails from Ipsy. So we'll see if that comes next. Stitch Fix.
not sure about Stitch Fix, but I do look forward to the clothing subscriptions, even though I've gained weight. Might do Nadine West. I don't know. If I can find another one that's not as expensive um, as that other one that I had, I Daily Look, that one was just way too expensive and the clothes were not something I'd wear every day. So it's just, I would I was wasting my money. But guys, that's it. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, and like and subscribe, please. Greatly appreciate it.